Here's tips and tricks with Tyler and Terry. Check that thing out, that's cool. Man, look at the decal on the MR130. It looks just like me. It is very good, it's very good. Hey oh, guys. Hey. How's it going, Lauren? Good. What's up? Well, we're going to talk about the Neo, not the big brother. Oh, well, let's, let's go. go. It is a nice little machine you got right here. Yeah, now we're at the right spot because this is the MR100 Neo, the little sister of the bigger crushes. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, what's the e-power stand for? So the e-power is for the E in Neo E, so it's electric drive. We have a D drive and electric drive. So, is this bad boy always electric drive? No, we offer a D drive and an E drive version. So this is the E drive version, which still has a diesel engine, but also electric motor. So you can plug the machine in for CO2 free operation. The spec to switch, can we check that out? Yeah, for sure. So we would use function on the Neo, a little bit more easy than the bigger ones. Very easy and intuitive startup circle, which guides the operator through the whole startup process of the machine. Mm. So your startup circle, that's where an operator would come in every day, flick it to green, put it in the mode, manual, automatic, or track mode, and they just follow the lights of the buttons there. Exactly. And this machine right here, uh, looking at that photo, it looks like it's a four bar. This is a four bar rotor inside here? Exactly, we have a four bar rotor within, uh, so you can choose configuration two high or four high. Okay, oh, wow. all right. So how do you do your zero gap setting on this one? Yeah, that's a good one because the machine does it at each machine startup, so you don't have to care, take care about that. Hold on, pause, just so everybody heard that correctly. This adjusts the zero gap every time you turn it on to ensure the proper stone size, huh? Exactly. Wow, that is awesome. Can we look inside the rotor housing? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> look at this. Well, is this how you get it started? No, it's for locking the rotor. The rotor has to be safe when we open the crusher. Oh, okay. 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 So in the first step, we lock the rotor with the gearbox. Very Once it is locked, we only then can open the crusher due okay. to safety reasons for sure. After this, we pull the red locking wedges on both sides of the crusher. Okay. Just by pressing the button. Wow. And afterwards, with another button, open the completely crusher. So that means no manual work, no screwing any bolts. That's it, just pressing two buttons. Wow. Wow. That's nice. I mean, that's really important for the operators to get in there and check that every opportunity they can. Exactly. So with this, we enable the, the operator to do the, the wear check every day very uh -huh. quickly. So once we have that done, Tyler, then I know this, you take this off and you put it on here. And this is where we can actually rotate the rotor yeah, to exactly. get to the next blow bar. Yeah. Wow. And then to put the blow bars out, it's same as Evo Pro clamped blow bars conveniently taken out from the top. It is very spacious. You can get right in here, huh? It's for blow bar chains. They clamp blow bars. You can take them out easily from there. Wow. And yeah. it only took like 30 seconds to get inside here and I can easily work inside this area. So also here we have generous access. Right behind there you can still see the beautiful yellow diesel engine, a big generator, the external power cabinet and the electric motor which runs the crusher then. Wow. So what kind of engine is that again? It's a John Deere engine, of course. Uh, First Kleeman crusher with a John Deere engine. So in the country, you can run it off a diesel engine, and when you're in the city areas, you can actually plug it in. Exactly. I see. You're very interested in Kleeman now. Huh. Let's go somewhere. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's go check it out. Hello. So uh, I don't speak German, but I think that said career. Yeah, since you're real interested in Kleeman, huh. your application, <laughs> become part of the team. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about that, but you know, you did a great job and we just want to welcome you to the TNT team. You are TNT approved. That's my man. right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.